Hey there, I'm Ant Pruitt, and this is a highlight video for the wonderful world of smartphone photography and the smartphone photographers community that I host on Google+. Plus. Hope you're doing well. I'm unbelievable as always. Now, anybody that takes photographs know that lighting is is really really critical the way your your shot is lit can make a difference in how things look you can make things look bright and vibrant or you can make things look a little drab and intimidating or the light can totally ruin your shot if there's too much of it well we have a little bit of a life hack for you if you're out in broad daylight and just really want to capture some motion or capture some vibrant colors but the sun is working against you my man Mike Sweeney from MS Media, he's got some some little life hacks for you. Check this one out. Anybody can take take a snapshot, All right, of this submarine, but it ends up looking either blown out or kind of flat looking because it, it tends to. There's no shade in this area of the park, and if you're shooting in the middle of the day like I was, um, it's really hard to get a nice dramatic shot of it. Mm -hmm. So in this particular case, what I did is I used a neutral density filter, and I will show you something here. There we go. Let me see if I can turn off screen share here and come back. No. Oh, some ah. showing. Hey. The ladies. It oh. didn't crash. <laughs> so I had my my phone here, like this. All right. All right. And. I've got something that says Nikon because I bought these for an old Nikon 950 of mine. Not a sponsor really, show, by the way. Which is really this. It's a it's a very small neutral density filter. All right. And so I go like that over the lens, and I always carry gaffer tape. Of course you do. <laughs> And so I popped this out of the bag, and I taped the, the neutral density filter onto the camera, and I proceed to take my shot. And what it does is the neutral density actually makes the camera think it's significantly darker outside than what it is, so it drops the shutter speed way down. Okay, that makes sense. And it, it's a bit of a guesstimate. I mean, you're kind of rolling the dice in a way here. But if you get it right, you can get some really nice motion blur even in the middle of the day. Now, how cool was that? Nice little life hack from Mr. Mike Sweeney. Appreciate him sharing that little tip with us. I will also link to that particular tip from his website, msmedia.me. Be sure to check it out. I'll put the link in the bottom of this video description. Thank you, folks, for taking the time to watch this. Be sure you click the like button and click that subscribe button. I truly appreciate that. And uh, check us out on smartphone-photographers.com as well as a new domain.tv. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace.